Reddit user Clown Cracker. Interesting name. Uh, can someone help me create this trigger when I convert a lead to a contact? I want the standard rating pick list field from the lead to carry over to the custom pick list field for the contact. Uh, lead underscore rating underscore underscore C. Um, and this is kind of an interesting problem if you're uninitiated. So let's let's get started in the beginning. I'll try to solve this problem for him. He has a couple people here that have tried to solve this um, for him specifically. We've even got some code here, and for some reason he feels that it requires a trigger to get done. So let's let's figure that out. Let's see how we do that. So first, let's try uh, the basics, which is just going to um, the regular sales app and trying to convert this lead. So if you're unfamiliar, this is the uh, this is my developer org, one of my very old developer orgs so has a ton of customizations on it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go to the lead. And the first thing we actually have to do is go into contacts and there's a bunch of tests on here. But we need to create a field on the contacts called lead rating same field that he did I'm assuming there's no rating field automatically put on to um, the contact so let's go ahead and create it and uh, da -da. Uh, and then just for doing everything fully let's make sure we use the same ratings go double click to get into there hot warm and cold because I don't think that it's available here warm. let's create that and then to do this we are going to need to go on to this is a lead record we are going to need to go on to our conversion mapping Conversion mapping, which should be under field and relationships map lead fields. And then here's our map fields for the account. And here's our map field for the contact. Um, doesn't look like we got much extra here. We just created our field. <coughs> and this may be the first hurdle that we, uh, that we approach here. We have a lead rating here. This is our contact field, but we want to set it to our uh, rating field over there. So let's let's actually see one thing we can do here is technically create a, a clone of the rating field because where this is going, all the fields that are mapped over in the contacts. So I'll go I'll go over a little bit of the field mapping. So um, all the standard fields are are going to be mapped over already. So that's why we're not seeing rating. Uh, over here on the left side for the leads. So that's that's number one uh, thing that we can take away from this. Um, and then all yeah, all these standard fields that can be mapped over, it's going to push over either to the account or the uh, contact or the opportunity if it goes that far. Um, next, one solution that I have in mind before we even get to the coding. Let's go on to the lead. And let's just duplicate the fields. And this is where we probably start working on getting a global pick list together. Uh, is it called? It's called lead rating. So this is uh, when we start doing global pick lists so that we can uh, have the same values. Let's do this. One idea. A couple more ideas to try out. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go to mapping. Uh, so now we have lead rating on here. Let's go to contact. We have lead rating. Uh, let's save this. And then when we go over to our lead, let's do Bertha. Bertha Boxer. Refresh this. Go to details. Uh, lead rating. Technically, this should be hot. Save. Uh, me. Put it all the way to convert. 
sure, sure, sure. Convert, and then we're gonna check our contact here. Let's go to our contact to see. Hey, look, lead rating is here. So that's one way. Let me make sure it, it, it fills out the requirement. When converting lead, I want to the standard rating thick list field from the lead to carry over. And I think that's kind of what uh, this guy was saying here in the first part. So the rating converted, the field rating, why not just use a formula field? We wouldn't be able to use the pick list. Um, so there's a couple of problems with this way. Uh, and I'll go over that. Let me make sure. I think this is a, the same, uh, pretty much on the same line of this. It's just, uh, couldn't you just handle this through the lead conversion mapping? You could kind of try to get a text formula field and let me use the lead mapping. Make sure you fill in the, the fields. The description, so next to the admin to decipher it. Yeah. Um, pretty much the same thing before we get into the coding realm of uh, things. So the one major problem with this is uh, on the lead. So happy they added this pin here. On the lead, the initial problem is that if I add a rating, you know, they're, they're only planning on intending using the standard one. If they add a rating of form, uh, it doesn't update uh, this rating. So we want them to match all the time. So this should be one. Uh, one way to do that is with workflows. So we'll create a workflow on the lead object. Um, <clears throat> let's do this on, I want to do this on is change. So any change done to it, let me think really quickly if we can do it a different way. Uh, as of right now, no. And yeah, I'll just show you the error that you get whenever if you didn't do that. So let's do it. is change and we'll type in a rating. This is the standard rating. If you did it in here, rating, that's the one we did. And the one we created is lead rating. Just so you just so you know, this is the extra duplicate one that we created on the lead here, this one. Um, so that we can now transfer this value over. So that's one way so and I intentionally left this so let me name this something correctly I like to do lead uh, dash um, whatever it is so on change rating and I put a nice description for it uh, let me do save it next and we'll get an error saying uh, some of this uh, this bunch of stuff is going on. first thing uh, that's m messing up or is it saying that this function isn't supported for uh, pick list fields? That's fine, we'll convert it technically in a te into a text field. It's kind of like a trick. And then next thing is an unknown function is changed. Should probably check syntax. I don't have that all about. It may not be used in this type of formula. This is changed, right? Yeah, it is changed. Okay. Um, so let's save the next. Uh, so it's not allowing us to do that basically because we need to check it every time the field is edited. No, uh, that's probably the pick list value. Let's do this. There we go. That's what I was trying to get at. I want to go back just to make sure. But um, basically checking the text boxes for that. Oh, uh, you edit this. Let's do. Uh, field update and you'll say lead, uh, lead rating. How do set for rating equals lead rating? That's a good enough one. Sorry, we're setting the field lead rating, custom field, to specific value. And look, oh, we can't do a selection here. We can't say uh, we want to automatically set it from this one to this one. So, you know, in the hierarchy, in the flows, uh, if you're going to be following my stuff, you're going to see that there's a hierarchy that will go through. Our next one is process builders. Process builders, and you see this very well named process builders created in 2015. Um, lead, trigger. Um, and right now we'll put in the event that uh, we're going to have some copy uh, rating. Rating. 
I'm going to start capitalizing this. Is delete object. Uh, should save on this. Next. Pretty much the same thing uh, that we we're starting to do. Creating change on here. This is change. It's true. Save. We're going to do an update to the record. So we know record we're updating. Take this to be the first one. Uh, and then we'll do the lead rating. Uh, formula. This is the key here because before we could only pick one individual value. I think I closed out of it. Uh, before we could only do one individual value. Now we can do formulas. And we're just going to copy rating. Use formula. Save. Three is probably my expression is invalid. There we go. Um, so, what I did there was just converting the rating value, which is a pick list value, into a text value and shoving that text value into lead rating. Um, it's just something you'll have to, to get used to with doing the. Um, Changing, doing changes with the pick list values. So, anyways, now when I press hot here, we can see that this updated to hot, so it uh, holds it together. And then next step, or let's actually convert this one to make sure that the whole premise of this, which is making sure it comes over, works properly. Betty, she should be on cold, I think. I forgot what I put on. Yep, cold. And then to wrap this all up in a neat bow, go back to the leads, go to the layout, uh, page layout, uh, page layouts. Oof, could be any of these. Anyways, let's do this one. This is just what I'm trying to get out of here is you would hide this from the layout, the, the secondary lead rating, hide that from the layout, do good documentation for the next time or if you forget on how this is actually working because this is not a it's not a standard thing we just built the config around it um, on how to make sure that it's being sent over uh, properly the next way I'll also show you guys uh, how to do it in code as well just just in case so this is declaratively Let's see can handle through lead conversion mapping you can't uh, can't change the conversion map. So yeah, that's this way. Well, that's kind of what we did. Just went around that using a text field. Uh, still recommend custom formula field. Possibility to create and evaluate. Set the biggest value. Oh, this is basically what we did here. Let's get the value over and then move it uh, around as needed. This is confusing. Right? Let me see. When did he suggest this? I didn't. I didn't see the suggestion. Um, but that's basically what we did and then the coding way so what we need to do is turn off the mapping if we want to do it uh, programmatically if you want to learn some code go to the field mapping and turn it off so that we know that it is uh, not working you know so we know that the code works next uh, I think we can start it with this as a template it looks about right Couple, well, a ton of things need to change if, it needs, if it's going to work. And if, it, if we want to deploy it to production, then there needs to be a test class. But, anyways, since we're on our developer sandbox, we can do it pretty quickly. Um, and let's just use this as the base. All this coding stuff. Copy it here. Open it up. Uh, so, what you do file, new, trigger. Call this uh, lead trigger leads. Yeah. Should probably check if there's a lead trigger out there already, but mm, uh, that's the one we just created. So we're good. And let me paste this in down here and just take the bits that I need. Formatting. And let's just try to save this. Let's see what happens. 
saving. Um, while this is going, I'll try to explain some of this. So, uh, count IDs set. So we're looking for sets are different than any other types of lists, or it's a collection of. Um, so it's a variable collection of objects that are unique only. Um, so you cannot have duplicates and sets. That'll come in handy. Um, and then we have a map of accounts. So this is maps are basically a uh, key value pair. That's what they're normally called. Um, and it basically means like if you have the unique identifier, so the account ID as a unique identifier, it'll give you back the account. For example, and we can even do it on leads. This is a unique identifier for this contact here, test 883. Let's go on, you know, somewhere else. Let's go on a task. I don't know. I'm trying to go somewhere else. I don't think I have any campaigns. I got some. Okay, so um, we have this value here as a unique identifier for this. So if we if we put it in. Now this is this is unique only to that specific contact. So when we paste this in here and we press next, it'll give us back the contact that we are looking for based on the key. It gave us the value back that we were looking for. Um, so if we go back to our code, this is this is taking a while. This is this is taking a little while. Um, so anyways, that's what the map is. Um, these are this is a map of accounts so we have account IDs and if we give in the correct account ID it'll spit back the entire account for it so it's very useful when we're doing things like searching in code because if we have the ID that we need we can just give it the ID and it'll spit back, spit back out the account so uh, that's why that's useful uh, let's see Trigger on lead. Actually, this is not supposed to be on lead. Insert this is supposed to be on uh, contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so that's my bad. I think we already have a contact trigger. Uh, I think I caught that. It, it, the error catching, as soon as it loads, it'll, it'll start posting up the errors for it. Anyways, new trigger. Let's do contact trigger because we're going to have this done on any time a contact is inserted. Um, let me see how this is written. Yeah, before the insert, it's just going to grab the information from it. So as I was going through that, we definitely noticed that. Uh, contact. Let's see if it loads in. Let's try to paste this stuff in here again. It's probably going to error out. So these these dev servers are pretty slow because Salesforce doesn't allocate a lot of resources to them, or at least maybe in my area it's just slower than normal. Anyways, um, so yeah, as we're going to go through this, so now we have uh, trigger dot new is a context variable. That's something you'll have to get into in like the trailhead. So basically, something very specific to Salesforce, at least that I've seen in my programming career, um, and it's basically uh, based on the situation we're in, the context that we're in, and in this case it's the contact, we're able to loop through things that are new. Uh, so it's contact, uh, and we're, we're doing this in the for loop, so we're grabbing all of the new contacts and we're looping through them. And what we're doing is, uh, if the account ID is not blank, we're adding them to that set. And this is where the error comes in. Uh, I don't know. Writing it to this set, and then so that's fine. We'll get started with that, and then for uh, we're doing we're looping over accounts now, accounts with ratings, and we are setting the account and that. And so we're doing a select. Sorry, I'm trying to solve the problem going through it in my head. Um, so we're doing a selection here of accounts. And based on the IDs that we got from before, and this this set account IDs is uh, the error that was coming up in the here line ten variable does not exist. That's the error that's that's happening in there. Um, but anyways, because this doesn't exist, so we're gonna loop through the set of accounts uh, that we find that are in the IDs 
that exists in this particular loop. Um, next, we're going to put them in the map. And for that map, so we're putting the account ID and the account in that map. So if you pass in an ID, it'll spit you back out an account. Uh, for the contacts, and the, we're looping through the contacts again, um, which is a little weird. Oh, I see why they did that. Okay, we're looping through the contacts again, and then we are setting the rating that is on the contact, or sorry, on the account uh, into the contact rating. And I'm just going to assume that this there is a rating field on the account because uh, they put that there. So this is still saving. Let me see if this saves. If not, I'm gonna control copy, close out everything, and then try to bring it back up again. Shouldn't be that much of a damn demand. Demand that that yeah demand right now. It's it's nine o'clock night. Anyways. Let's go back onto this developer console. So we're still waiting to save. Uh, why did I save that one again? I don't know why I did that. Console I'll save. I need. I really. I just need this one to save, so then it can compile, and we can get errors. You can start writing comments, I guess. Show you how to do task classes, maybe. With this not saving, it's really uh, it's the main thing that's going on here. Uh, normally when this happens, I will close this out. So let me copy this again. One more try. Open. Trigger, paste the whole thing since we copied the whole thing. Yes, there we go. So it's saying that, oh wait, this variable does not exist. When we when we double click this, it doesn't show up. Let's see, uh, when we double click something else, you know, we have values of it. And if you do like control find enter, it only finds one match. So this doesn't exist. We don't know what to do with this. So actually what, what we need to put in here is, um, since this, this is the set that we're using, the naming scheme was just wrong. Uh, so that saved. Everything looks like it went through. Um, there's tons of room for improvement on this, but I won't, I won't get into that. Um, actually, before we... Did we do an update? So before trigger. Okay. Some super sneaky here. Some, something that people may not notice is that uh, in general updates, well, you know, general coding, especially if we're doing... Uh, different manipulations, we'll have to uh, do something like this, update uh, contacts, or trigger.new technically since it's our value that we're using. But since we're using a before trigger, we'll have to, we won't have to do that. And it's, it's, uh, we won't worry about that for right now. That's for, it's for a different discussion. Um, but before we do this update, I want to make sure that it's not working. So I'm going to comment this section out. Please save. Okay. Now let's go to our leads. Brenda. Details. Okay. We're going to change this to warm. Save. Convert. Uh, convert. Let's go to the account and then let's go to Brenda. Close out a ton of these. So for the account, should say warm summer, right? Rating. There it is. Rating. And then so the account automatically comes over because this is this is a standard field that's already on there. And then on the contact we see that lead rating was not set. So that's perfect. Let's go back to our console, uncomment this, save this, and then run. Run. Let's do it one more time bring it all home the different ways that we can uh, transfer fields on, on lead conversion standard and non-standard fields uh, rating form save and then uh, do this convert. cool it worked let's click this click this we really only care about this one 
details cross our fingers that this default code worked and we've got warm here so there there you have it two separate ways i i don't know which way i prefer um in my orgs i definitely prefer less code when when not leading needed especially when it's uh this easy to get done i mean i did it in maybe 10 minutes uh declaratively um so yeah that's one way of doing it but it does also add in the extra field capacity so i guess it depends on you know your field usage i'd hope you're not at you know 500 fields on your leads already um, with such a simple request but anyways uh, that's one way to do it um, in config and then the other way through code there's tons of room for improvement in this code and then you're missing like the test class and, and the deployment and all those steps but um yeah there you have it